Welcome everyone, welcome. Justin M. Bailey here again on the all summer long RPG adventure quest and there is no good news to report today. There is virtually none whatsoever because Aerith is dead and she's not coming back. Hey, you know what, Sid? I take it back. You're not the biggest dick on the planet. Sephiroth is. Seriously, Sephiroth, how long were you floating up there waiting for Cloud to come so you could give him an eyeful of dead flower girl? Just look at the eat shit grin across his face. Killing Aerith with such an audience was like a psychopathic Charlie Manson Christmas for this insane sword-wielding asshole. And yet to think, not so very long ago, just a day before, things were going so well. Cloud and Aerith finished off their date and went to bed, and then the next day, everyone adventured to the Temple of the Ancients together. They soon ran into Sephiroth, of course, and he was giggling like a schoolgirl, spilling his whole sinister plan to Cloud and company like some 1960s Bond villain. You see, what Sephiroth plans to do is cause a disaster so great that it threatens the life of the entire planet. He plans to summon Meteor, and when Meteor hits, and when all that sweet, delicious life stream flows in to cover up and heal the wound, Sephiroth will be there to absorb it like a sponge. He plans to absorb all that energy, the energy of the entire planet, and become some sort of god, I guess. But to do that, he needs black material. And so Cloud just gives it to him? Why would you do that, Cloud? It's like Sephiroth can somehow control him because soon after, he started going all Ike Turner on Aerith, beating the crap out of her until Barrett finally came and whacked Cloud upside the head. The next day, when Cloud finally woke up, there was no time to tell Aerith sorry because she had already disappeared heading north. She told Cloud in a dream not to worry and that she could somehow stop Sephiroth, but how? I guess we'll never know, but puppet or not, Cloud did race up there as fast as he could to catch up to Aerith before you know who could, but clearly <laughs> is one fast son of a bitch. He's as fast as he is sadistic, and look at his face, savoring every minute of what he did to Cloud. And then right after, he sicked another Genova on everyone again, but what could another Genova possibly do to Cloud and company that Sephiroth hadn't already done? It was like Sephiroth was trying to say by killing Aerith, look what I did to this little flower girl. That's exactly what I'm gonna do to your entire planet. Vagina, vagina, penis, penis. What can Cloud and company hope to do to Sephiroth now that Aerith is gone? And more importantly, most of all, is Cloud in fact nothing more than Sephiroth's personal puppet? Is he even a man at all? Plus, Who's this little kid trying to stop Cloud from giving Sephiroth the black materia? All questions that we need answers to. Hopefully we'll get some answers soon, but in the meantime, let's hope Sephiroth doesn't kill anybody else. Or in the least, let's hope he doesn't do anything worse. I'm Justin M. Bailey. I'll see you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you.